Okay, today I'm going to show you how to use the data analysis tool pack to run a t-test. So you should have already watched my video on how to um, download or add the data analysis tool pack. If you click on data and that is not there, you're going to want to watch that video first. Um, so when you put Excel on your laptop, it does not automatically add the data analysis tool pack. But when you click data analysis, you're going to select, we want to run a t-test assuming equal variances. I can tell you this data set has equal variances. We're going to compare two servers to each other, so we're going to run a two-sample test. And so when I hit OK, it wants me to select my variable 1 and my variable 2. And I can tell you right now, I'm going to include the labels server 1 and server 2. That helps me to not get confused. It defaults our alpha value to where we want it. And I just let it put my t-test results in a new worksheet. So now I just need to select variable 1 and variable 2. So variable 1, I can just click that A to select all of column A. You don't need to click and drag. It's a waste of time. And then variable 2, I'm going to select column B. So I'm going to compare server 1 to server 2. Hit OK. And there is my results. So I'm going to just, you know, make this look a little neater. So a couple of things. Um, so you can look and see that the means are different. Server 1 had more average fries um, that he served his customers than Server 2. It counts the number of observations. It gives you degrees of freedom. All of these values are important. It's just sometimes you report some values and not others. In our case, for this activity, you're going to be reporting your test statistic. So, where's my highlighter? My goodness, so many options. It's been so long since I've used Excel. And I want you to report the two-tailed p-value because we didn't go into this predicting that one server would necessarily give more fries than another server. We're looking for differences in both directions, and that's our two-tailed p. So we have a very small p-value, 2 times 10 to the negative 8. We have um, a large test statistic. It is larger than our critical value. 6 is bigger than 2. So it makes sense if we found a large test statistic and it is larger than our critical value, then a small p-value makes logical sense. And so once I've verified that my test seems to be giving me results that make logical sense, I feel more comfortable with those values. So I'm going to go in and say that um, this is my test statistic. This is my p-value. I have found a statistically significant difference between these two servers. So I can reject my null hypothesis that there was no difference between the two. And you know I can use this data now to draw conclusions about server 1 versus server 3 and server 1 versus server 4. And so you're going to get a lot of practice with running these t-tests. Now one thing that's nice is when you go in to run data analysis um, and hit OK, it has saved your variable 1 and variable 2 and all your settings. So you may just need to compare, you know, change to server 3. And I'm going to cancel because I don't want to do all your homework for you. Um, but remember, since you have your, um, your headings there, it's going to pop those in. So as you are filling in your Google form for homework, just be careful that you match the correct numbers with the correct part of the form. Once you get going, this should go really, really quickly. Okay, that's the hope that by the time you're done, you will never forget how to run a t-test ever again in Excel. It will be second nature. Good luck.